Hi, it's Billy Joe from Star 95.9 chatting the celebration of Rogers coming together with Shaw for that free concert for the customers and Darius Rucker is the headliner June 1st, Thursday night at the Dome. For every ticket scanned to this celebration, a $10 donation goes to Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Uh, for more details, you can go to rogers.com slash Darius Rucker. We had a chance to chat with him. He says this concert is going to be a party. Before we get to that, let's chat his new single, Fires Don't Start Themselves. It's really, that, that, I think that's what really drew me to the song is that 90s feel it had to it. And, uh, you know, once we cut it, I was so excited about it because it was just, it's, it's so different than anything I've done so far. And it, it had that old school feeling to it, but it's also, you know, it's also the production, and everything is so modern. So it's, it's, it's just one of those songs. I'm glad that we found it. I'm glad there's somebody that was sent to me, <laughs> yeah. by my friends. And, yeah. uh, you know, and I'm, you know, and I, I, it's, it's hard to get me to cut an outside song, but this one it wasn't because I loved yeah. it a lot. Well, the hook is let's drink what's left of this. And if that isn't a nineties, right? Country tune. <laughs> Exactly. That you know, that's 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 you know, that's that's all that reminds me so much of back in the day. Yeah. And and you know, the song the song speaks for itself. It's just a cool little ditty. It's it's a the nineties hit out today and, and I love it. You also have your tour, uh, which starts in June. Uh that's gonna be huge too. Oh yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited about that. You know, go, going out this year, playing some places I don't usually get to play, you know, starting with Calgary. Yeah. So uh I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking I love being out. It's still my favorite thing in the world to do is, is get to play music for people. So I just can't wait to get out. Yeah. And I know this is very sentimental, but your album cover and your album, Carolyn's Boy. Wow. Wow. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that, about your mom. Yeah, I was making this record. And, you know, it's not that the record's really about my mom or anything, but I was making this record and I was thinking about who I am as a person and everything. And I really thought to myself, at the end of the day, I'm still just my mom's son. <laughs> And, you know, so I wanted to, she was such a, such a great influence on me mm -hmm. growing up. And she's the reason, I would say she's the, her letting me be me and making sure everybody else let me be me is the reason I'm here. So I just wanted to pay homage to her. And we did that. And I named the record Carolyn's Boy because that's who I am. Yeah. The portrait of her is just gorgeous on the front. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, she's 25. I love that yeah. picture. She's graduating nursing school. <laughs> I love that picture. Yeah. <laughs> imagine, imagine the stuff you learned from your mom, though. I, I've always said this. A nurse, you're a very special person if you're a nurse. Like, compassionate and kind and loving and sensitive and all the, all the wonderful things wrapped up into one person. Absolutely. That's. I mean, that's where all my philanthropy and giving back it all comes from my mom mm -hmm. teaching me when i was a young kid to, to be a good person mm -hmm. and, and she like i said she was such a big influence in me she means so much to yeah. me and you know, I, she's been she's been gone since 89 and i still miss her every day yeah yeah i also want to ask you a little bit about your collaboration with the black crows how was that <laughs> come on oh that was so much fun <laughs> you know i've known those guys for so long and i've been a fan yeah. longer than i've known them and, and and to get to do that with them, get to sing with them, get to sing with Chris, you know, and Rich is out there just rocking it. And to get to sing with, yeah. with Chris and, and be on stage with that, it, it was, Crossroads is such a great show. And, and, and to get to do that with them was just absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah. It's just a, a dream come true, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, it was something that I never even thought I'd get to do something like that. And when, when it was brought to me and we got to do it, and once we started, especially once we started playing, I was like, man, this is just... Man, you know, 24-year-old me is about to lose his mind. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah. So excited. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was awesome. Out of all the other people, uh, who's on your wish list to collaborate with? Oh, goodness. We could go all day with that. <laughs> the list is, you know, yeah. you know, start, starts with Paul McCartney, of course, which, you know, uh, he's my absolute favorite. You know, I, you know, some people, have, you know, Al Green and guys like that I've gotten to sing with, but, like, there's so many people, you know, you know, Carrie Underwood, oh, I think yeah. if we sang together, it would sound incredible. It's just, there's a lot of folks out there that, that, that I love and, and I'd love to work with if they ever wanted to do it. I know one of your role models was Charlie Pride. Um, yes. And it's funny, yes. you know, uh, I, got, there, I have two, I met Charlie Pride years ago. He was singing at Craven Big Valley Jamboree and he swallowed a mosquito. It was an outdoor show. Oh gosh, did he laugh and he choked and he coughed and then he continued with his song, but he's just, what a sweetheart. Yeah, he was such a big yeah. influence on me. And, and once I got into country and I got to meet him and, and really talk to him, and, you know, he's such an, he was such an amazing human being. 
and I'm just proud to follow in his footsteps. I mean, he's the one who opened the door for me, and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm just, just proud that I'm trying to carry on his legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I wanted to ask you a little bit about, um, because you've transitioned from different genre to different genre, do you have, it's like asking you if you have a favorite kid. Do you, <laughs> right? You can't answer. But do you have a favorite genre and how hard is it to go from one to the other? Oh, you know, my favorite is country music. I, yeah. I mean, I, I really feel like everything I did with Hootie and all the success we had was, was just a precursor to me being here in country music and I love singing country music. I love mm -hmm. the story of Neil. You know, I love the instrumentation. I, I'm so honored to be a part of it and to get to do it, you know, on the level I'm getting to do it at, the, at my age is just is, is awesome mm -hmm. and, and I love being a part of the country music family. Mm -hmm. How do you do that too? I know a lot of us as parents, you go, <laughs> you go from superstar dad to uh, dad, the chauffeur, the... <laughs> The cheer, yeah. cheering on the sidelines, Dad. That must be a bit of a difference for you too, right? Come off the road and then oh, Dad mode. I love it. I'm used yeah. to it now. I mean, you know, once, you know, I, really what I do for a living is just, it's, it's my, I love it. And it's my favorite, you know, I, I still can't believe, it's the only thing I wanted to do because I was four years old and I get to do it for yeah. a living. But it's, it's really just what I do. And my kids, my kids, all they've ever known is, is me being successful. So it's like, to them, it's, they don't care, you mm -hmm. know. We want dad home, we want dad, at, yeah. at, at, like you said, the football games and the volleyball games, and we want dad, at, you know, at the plays and all that stuff, and I love being there. That's the dad I am. Uh -huh. You know, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to everything. I, you know, I've canceled shows because my kids book something, but I mean, they're the most important things in the world to me. Yeah, for sure. You're quite a TikTok star. Like, you, <laughs> you're good. I don't know how you do this. That no diggity, like did anybody, like, where is this coming from? <laughs> we, you know, <laughs> you know, I like to, I like to say I got jokes. You know, I, I got jokes a lot, and I like to be funny. And TikTok allows you to do that. You know, and, yeah. And, and it's just cool to do stuff like that, that. That just comes up, and you do it, and you know, you put it out there, and people are laughing at it. And that, that that makes me happy. I, I like to be funny. I know. I love the no diggity, and then the teenage dirtbag, because we all had that face, right? We did. We did exactly. in our twenties. Yes, we, we did. did. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, now, are you much of a golfer? You're you're friends with Tiger Woods, correct? Right? I am. Now, I are am, you yes, much I of a golfer? For a long time. Have I what? Okay, how's the golf game? Oh, my golf game's pretty good right now. You know, I play a lot of golf. I play, I play probably five, six days a week, so my, my, my golf game's pretty good right now. That's the key. You gotta play more to be good, right? Yeah, yes, for sure. Do. For yes, sure. You do. Uh, do you mind if I just, I'm gonna throw a few real quick ones at you, like Rutgers, I, I'm calling them uh, rapid fire questions, okay? Okay. Rutgers, okay. rapid fire questions. Sneakers or cowboy boots? Cowboy boots. Hockey or wrestling? We, you're a wrestling fan. I do like hockey, but uh, wrestling, yeah, I am a wrestling fan. Okay. Uh, slow dance or break dance? Definitely slow dance, because if I break dance, I'm going to break something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you recently celebrated a birthday. Favorite age? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, that's a tough one. Um... Probably, no, I like, I'm 57, I like being 57. It's you gotta really, you know, own it. Life you, is pretty good for me right now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think we hit a we hit a certain age and we go, oh hell, I'm just happy to have another one, you know? Like you just, exactly. <laughs> you just gotta go exactly. with it. Exactly, yeah. 100%. You just gotta, yeah. Uh, do you have a nickname? No, I don't. I, like, some people call me D, but not, not a lot of people do. Uh, I tried to give myself a nickname once and it didn't work. It didn't, it didn't, So, yeah. uh, no, not really. It yeah. didn't work. Is no. there a, I is, tried to get, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I tried to get the Hootie Boys to call me Dutch, but they wouldn't. <laughs> so I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't start your own nickname. That defeats the purpose. You can't. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Is, is there a word that you have trouble pronouncing? Is there a word? Worcestershire sauce. I still can't say it. <laughs> I, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know why I can't say that yeah. word, but I, that, I have a hard time saying that one. See, here in Canada, you could just say HP sauce, right? That's kind of like I the see, HP I'm, sauce. Yeah. I'm moving to Canada. Here, I find people struggle with Canada Day. Can Canada Day. Just those two words. Canada Day. Canada Day. Got that one. Canada, Canada Day. Day. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, do you have a hidden talent? Mm, 
Do I have a hood? Um, no, not really. I like to say I can cook, but I really can't. I got like two dishes I can cook. Uh -huh. That's what, but those are two really good dishes. I make. <laughs> <laughs> so when company's coming, you cook one of the two because you know it's a never fail. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, would your would your twelve year old self think that you're cool? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. My twelve year old self would definitely. Yeah, my twelve year old self would go. That's pretty cool. What he does. Mm -hmm. for yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Do you ever get mistaken for another celebrity? Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> no. You know, back, back. I guess when Hootie first broke. Uh, you know, after Jerry Maguire, people would call me Cuba Gooding. But, oh uh, no way. You know that. That was that was more of a joke to the movie, I think, when he got called Hootie. <laughs> but uh, no, not really. Yeah, that's the Jerry Maguire days. Okay, last thing you yeah. Googled. What's the last thing you Googled? Oh, goodness, I Googled something today. Uh, I Googled, oh, uh, the age of uh, Paul McCartney's age today. We were having a conversation, uh, and I Googled how old Paul McCartney was. Yes. How old? How old 80. is he? Oh, wow. Holy Crazy. cow. Crazy, yeah. Wow. And I know this is kind of a silly one. Do you have a go-to karaoke song? Like, do you ever go karaoke? Walking in Memphis. Oh, no. Walking in Memphis is my go-to song. Absolutely. That's a good one. That is a good one. And uh, when oh, you good. watch TV, do you watch one episode at a time, or are you a binge watcher, or do you even have time? I'd like to say this. To all people that put out episodes one at a time, you all should be put in jail. Because I, after after binge watching started, like I get so mad yeah. when I can't watch the whole show. Like right now, I'm in, really in the succession, succession. And I was watching it last night, and I was just so mad that, you know, I'm ready for you know. Yes, I, I'm definitely a binge watcher. Yeah. And are you a talk yeah. or a text? Are you a phone talker or texter? Text. Yeah. Text. I, yeah. I hate talking on the phone. Yeah. I'm a texter. I know if somebody calls, you're like, oh my gosh, this is an emergency. This must be an emergency. My phone is exactly. ringing. My I, phone is ringing. Exactly what I think. I'm in, I'm in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we're so looking forward uh, to you being in Calgary. And wow, what a kickoff to the Calgary Stampede. Honestly, that's what we're calling. I, I don't know, but that's what we're calling it. All you're right. kicking things I'm with off. It. I love it. Yeah. Okay, one last one. Uh, being in Alberta, careful how you answer this one Calgary or Edmonton? Huh? Calgary. <laughs> Calgary. <laughs> I love Edmonton too, though. I love Edmonton. I love it there. Oh, I love it. Uh, Darius Record joins us in celebration of Rogers coming together with Shaw. Free concert for customers. Not just, uh, this is just going to be so fun. June 1st, Thursday night. We're looking forward to it. Before you go, I think we need a Yahoo. What do you think? A Yahoo? What's a Yahoo? You need me to say Yahoo? Yeah! Yahoo! Yahoo! Ha, 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 ha.